Fix-a-Safe is a multi-signature safe, which means multiple owners can manage a single safe. Multiple owners add an extra layer of security because all transactions require multiple confirmations. Let's see how to create a safe. You need to download a wallet extension to create a safe. Aura Network currently supports two wallets, Coin98 and Kepler Wallet. Aura recommends using the Coin98 wallet, as Aura and Coin98 are working together to roll out Aura-specific features. I will show you the steps using Aura's recommended Coin98 wallet, but the steps will be similar for the Kepler wallet too. Open the web extension store in your browser. You can install the Coin98 extension in Chrome and in Chromium-based browsers. Search for Coin98. Select Coin98 Wallet. Click on Add button to install the extension. Click Add Extension button. The download will take some time depending on your internet speed. After successful installation, you will see a small Coin98 Wallet icon in the top right corner of your browser. Now close this tab. Open Coin98 Wallet. If you already have a wallet, you can use the Restore Wallet option, otherwise click on Create Wallet. Select X Password and click OK. Enter a secure password. Click Set up Password. Click OK. Select Multi-Chain. Enter a name for the wallet. Click Next. Write down this recovery phrase in a paper and keep it in a secure place. After that, copy the recovery phrase and paste it into this field. Select this option and click on Create Wallet. Done, you have successfully created a Coin98 wallet. Now let's see how you can create a new safe. Open Aura.network in your browser. Hover over to Features. Open Pixis Safe. Safe is like a personal crypto wallet, where digital assets can be stored and transferred. Click on Create New Safe button. Click Connect. Select your wallet and a pop-up will appear. Click Connect to connect your wallet. Click Confirm to add the network to Coin98 Wallet. When you will connect your wallet to Pixis Safe for the first time, you will need to accept this. Click on Accept and Sign button. Click Confirm. Serenity Testnet is selected, but still Continue button is disabled. To enable this button, click on Switch Network. Here you can select any testnet as per your requirement. I will select Serenity Testnet. Now click Continue. Enter a name for the safe. You can enter anything, this name will be stored locally. After that, click Continue. Enter owner name. Here you can also add multiple owners to this safe, but for now, I am creating a single owner safe. I will show you steps to create a safe with multiple owners later in this video. After that, click Continue. Click Create. Click Continue and a new safe will be created instantly. Now let's see how to get Aura tokens. You can get two Aura tokens from their Discord channel for testing purposes. Go back to Aura.network. Click on the Discord icon to open their official Discord channel. Accept the invite. Click on Complete to complete verification. Scroll down and accept the terms and conditions. Click on Submit. After that, open the Pick a Role channel. Here you can select Testnet Contributor or Developer as your role to get free airdrop tokens. After that, you will see more channels on the left side. I created my safe in Serenity Testnet, so I will select Serenity Faucet. Here you need to reply I love Aura with your address. Go back to the safe and click on this small copy icon to copy your address. Now go back to Discord channel, type I love Aura, and paste your address. Press Enter to reply. Now close Discord and go back to Pixis safe. As you can see, I received two Aura tokens in my safe. Now I can do transactions using this newly created safe, but before that let's see how to create a safe with multiple owners. I am going to use Brave Browser to create second safe with multiple owners. As you can see, I've already installed Coin98 Wallet and completed all the basic steps because I already explained all the steps earlier in this video. Here, you need to connect the wallet as you connected earlier. After connecting the wallet, you will see this screen. Now click Continue. 
Enter a name for the safe. This time I will enter multiple owners in this field because I am creating this safe with multiple owners. After that, click continue. Then enter the owner's name. I will enter first owner in this field. Now click on the add another owner option to add multiple owners. Enter second owner's name. Here you need to enter the address of the wallet you want to make an owner. Suppose you want to make first wallet as the owner of this wallet. So go back to the first wallet, which you created earlier. Copy the address. Then, paste the address in this field. You can use the add another owner option to add more owners, but for this video, I will add only two. After that, you need to select the number of owners in this field. Currently, one is selected, which means any one of the two owners can do transactions in this safe. I will select two so that transactions will be executed only after the confirmation of both owners. After adding all the owners, click continue. Click create. Click continue. After that, you will be able to see your new safe here, but I added the first wallet as the owner, so I need confirmation from the first wallet before I can do any transactions. Go to the wallet you added as owner. Click on this arrow. Click on the drop down to see pending safes. Click allow if you want to accept the ownership. Here you need to enter a name for the safe. It doesn't matter what other owner has named it, you can enter anything you want. After that, click continue. Enter the name of all the owners. Again, you can enter anything you want. After that, click continue. Click allow to accept the ownership. Click continue. You have successfully created a safe with multiple owners. Now let's see how to do transactions. Click here to see all safes. Select single owner because I have two or tokens in this safe. You need the receiver's address to send the fund. Go to the second safe. Click on this arrow to see the safe. Select the safe in which you want to deposit the funds. Click on this small copy icon to copy the address. Go back to the first safe. Click on new transaction. Click on send funds. Paste the receiver's address. Select token. Enter the amount you want to send. Click review. Click submit and a pop-up will appear. Click confirm. Now you need to execute the transaction. Click on this transaction to see details. Click execute. Click submit and the transaction will be executed within a few seconds. If you will open the history tab, you will see a success message. If the transaction is failed, you will have to create a new transaction again. Now go to the second safe. Here you will see the fund, which you just sent from the first safe. Now let's see how multi-signature works in a safe with multiple owners. I will send funds from this safe to the first safe. Go back to the first safe. As you can see, currently, this safe has around 1.5 aura. Click on this small copy icon to copy the address. Go to the second safe. Click on send. Paste the receiver's address. Select token, if not selected already. Enter the amount you want to send. Click review. Click submit then a pop-up will appear. Click confirm. Now, if you will click on this transaction, you will see it. You have confirmed this transaction message. You will also see that one out of two is completed. Now you need to execute this transaction from the first wallet, because the first wallet is also the owner of this safe. Go back to the first safe. Click on this arrow to see all the safes. Select multiple owner safe. Open transaction tab. Click on this transaction to see details. As you can see, the first owner already confirmed the transaction, but the second owner can still cancel this transaction using the reject option. Now click confirm to execute the transaction. Click submit. Click confirm. Now click on execute. Click submit and the transaction will be executed within a few seconds. If you will open the history tab, you will see a success message. Now select the single owner safe from the left and you will see the funds. You have successfully transferred funds. Thanks for watching.